Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. Right now, some overcast skies in Cincinnati. Uh, we're going to sit under that dense cloud cover for a good part of today. Winds are out of the north right now, so that's keeping things pretty chilly for us. Uh, but you can really see a lot of the snow that came through yesterday has melted off. Got a little bit of that still lingering around Kings Island. But uh, again, the temperatures on the pavement and the ground really just far too warm for anything to stick around for a long period of time. So we're just going to be cloudy, cold and dreary today. Do have some bands of showers pinwheeling off the Great Lakes here today. Um, you could have a sprinkle or two, uh, again, flurry or two mixed in with some of these. But I think a lot of this just cold rain right now. A uh, vast majority of these scattered light bands are going to be from Highland County down towards Georgetown and Brown County. Places across Adams County just west of Peebles also seeing some areas of rain. Southwest of Wilmington we've got some pockets of showers um, and then we've got some very light bands of sprinkles as you make your way from Amelia into New Richmond, Alexandria, Independence and then south of Union, Kentucky. Places up into Hamilton County, maybe a couple of spotty showers or light sprinkles around Colerain and Cleves. Sprinkles in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, Aurora. And then we have additional sprinkles here uh, around Oldenburg, places along 74 and even less. She head down towards Sunman and Delaware this afternoon. <clears throat> But you can see some of those coming off the lakes here. We still have some snow out to the east uh, in areas like Pittsburgh, still mixing with some rain there. But we're going to be in and out of these showers at least through tonight. So can't entirely rule out some sprinkles or a light shower for Friday night football tonight. But I think a lot of us just cold and dreary. It's going to feel more like the 20s and 30s into the afternoon and evening. So you want to bundle up if you're going to be out at any of those high school football playoff games tonight. Actual air temperatures at 41. So we're not going to change those temperatures a ton today just because because of the heavy overcast um, and then tonight only dropping to around 38. So any kind of showers we have are going to come to an end. We'll stay cloudy tomorrow about 49 for the high uh, with continued overcast skies. I think the models overdoing the shower coverage quite a lot here as we head through the second half of the day, but you can see maybe a little bit of a light wintry mix, some cold rain, pretty quiet as we head through tonight and into tomorrow morning. A lot of overcast into your Saturday and then we're going to start to uh, warm things up even more into Sunday. I think around 54 there, so nice day. Monday is going to be our next weather impact day. Good day for some more widely scattered rain showers. Temperatures will be just shy of 60. Fortunately, not the best day to get out and enjoy the warmth. Uh, we'll get a break behind that on Tuesday and then Wednesday into Thursday, Thanksgiving. We're looking at some rain here locally. So I think Wednesday morning for your travel, it starts out cloudy and breezy. Afternoon brings some late day rainfall. Uh, and let's say you're traveling up to the north of uh, in Ohio. So north of I-70 could run into a bit of a wintry mix. Uh, so just be aware of that. Temperatures in the 30s starting out for any of those Thanksgiving day runs. Last minute preparations, afternoon meals in the 40s with cloudy skies. So second half of the day looks dry, but it is going to be a cold Thanksgiving this year.